Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm talking about Tesla plaid mode updates. I've been getting a ton of DMs over the past couple of days. Instagram, via email, text messages. There's been a lot of kind of new things coming around from Tesla. has been testing both at the drag strip and out at Laguna Seca with either plaid or plaid plus cars. So first off, let's talk about the drag racing stuff. There's a article here on this Tesla Canada website here. Um, that I, was sent to me a couple days ago. Uh, Tesla Plaid sets new production, fastest quarter mile time of any production car, and then it lists a couple cars here. Uh, P1, just saw the P1 video we did with the 765, 918 Spider Sheeran Sport. You know, I'm looking at this list, I think it's a little incomplete because, uh, you know, I ran 9.3 in the 765, so I think uh, someone needs to update Wikipedia on the current quickest car. Uh, even if Tesla does beat it pretty soon. Uh, but basically they're saying here, um, someone was at the track and witnessed a 923 at 152.1 miles an hour, which is, uh, wow, that's pretty incredible. And uh, you know, Tesla's website says 92 at 155. And in a previous video, I talked about what 155 miles an hour would actually bring in the quarter mile. And with that zero to 60 time of less than two seconds, I have a feeling it's gonna be a little bit quicker. Uh, with good prep and uh, really good tires, I think the car, if indeed is trapping 155, we're looking at better than 9.2, probably 9.0 or 9.1 down the quarter mile. Uh, but also go on to talk about uh, Jay Leno was there and he was actually testing the car too. And with three people in the car, uh, they witnessed the car go 9.5. It's still over 150 miles an hour. So wow, super excited to get my hands on that car. And if it performs like that, I mean, this test is going to be stomping on a ton of cars. Going to be a ton of fun. Uh, there was actually a picture on the website that was since taken down. Um, I'll show you that picture here because I actually saved it. So on this picture here you can see, um, let's zoom in a little bit, uh, Tesla at the track and it's a kind of a screenshot here. You know you can see Tesla Model S Plaid at the drag strip, someone's filming. Now before it was a little more resolution I was able to zoom in on the board and actually see a 9.2 up on the board. Of course, that was taken down, which leads me to believe this is probably pretty accurate of what's going on. And uh, maybe we'll be seeing an episode of Jay Leno with the new Tesla down the drag strip. Bummer that I didn't get invited, Tesla. Thanks a lot. Maybe next time. Um, so there, 9.2 quarter mile, maybe faster, I'm thinking. And then uh, there was also this Twitter account, uh, Kilowatts, right here. And that what they were doing is staked out at Laguna Seca. And if we scroll down here, you can see uh, this car really just hauling ass around Laguna Seca. It looks really, really fast. Let's look at it again, come around the corner here. Wow. So this is the Plaid motor, possibly Plaid Plus. We don't know. But when we look at some of the pictures here, uh, you'll see that it's got some Active Aero on the back. Um, not the first time that Tesla's done Active Aero. I had Active Aero on my Tesla Model X, but that was not for performance. That was more of... Um, probably aero efficiency and later on they probably realized it wasn't worth the trouble and they ditched it on the later P100Ds uh, at the P90 Founders Edition that did have the active aero at the time. But let's go ahead and look at some of these pictures. So here you go, you got uh, Plaid S running around the track here. You can see the active kind of pretty large wing on the back here and, uh, and it's red. That's the color I ordered. It looks pretty low too. These are the new arachnid wheels you can see here. Let's check out some of the other pictures. Here's another one where you can kind of see the back and you can see that wing in the up position. Kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, a Panamera wing. You know, those Panamera wings kind of come up and they stick out. This one doesn't look like it expands at all, uh, but looks like it definitely drops down to the back. Maybe for the drag racing runs, you don't need that downforce. Uh, reduce the downforce and, and have the car go faster. And here it looks really, really low actually. These cars are gonna have that active air suspension, I'm sure. So there'll probably different ride heights available. Let's see what else we got here. A nice shot here. Definitely low. The front lip is what I'm looking at right here. This front lip definitely looks a little more pronounced than what we've been seeing um, spied around different areas where they have the plaids on the road and definitely looks different than um, the pictures uh, on the website. So either this is the little tweaks that they're waiting to pump out which is causing the delays or this is actually plaid plus. You know, if you look at the fenders, it doesn't have those wide body fenders that you saw when they were testing around the Nurburgring. Um, so that's why I'm maybe hoping that this is just what could be coming to the garage here in just a matter of weeks. 
another shot here coming down and let's see what else we got here this one's a little better picture of a side profile of the active arrow let's see if I can zoom in a little more there yeah there you go so right there you can see how that drops back down into the back there pretty pretty cool and then kind of another little wing coming out the back on the back of the trunk too interesting and then uh, I think this is a side profile this, yeah this is a nice side profile shot showing how low the car is now if you look closely you can see right here there's actual uh, there's a roll cage in this car so obviously not production if it's got a roll cage that could just be for safety for the driver in case something does happen while they're testing uh, but there you go roll cage right there he's got a helmet on of course also wanted to note on the kilowatts twitter page they go over how they were there for a couple of days and they were able to estimate the uh, laguna seca lap time here they have uh, one minute to 29 to a minute 30 seconds around this track now if you're not familiar with track times around laguna seca and how that compares to some pretty crazy sports cars uh, that was actually faster than what Motor Trend got uh, when they tested both the Ferrari F8 Tributo and, well, the Huracan Evo, which I got back here. So, man, a 4,500-pound, 1,000-horsepower sedan uh, beating supercars, not only down the drag strip handedly, because uh, this car would easily beat the F8 and the Evo, although it might have a hard time with the McLaren here, uh, but also, you know, around a track, which is pretty crazy if it really is that fast um, so they were saying they did a they had a bunch of lap sessions that's the rest of me at the time of course that is unconfirmed but let me know in the comments do you think a minute 30 is possible in this you know 1100 horsepower four-door sedan I definitely think the drag racing number is going to be there Tesla obviously it says that on the website so we're expecting the low nines but wow if this car can do it all track drag strip take it around town, electric, four or 500 mile range, it's gonna be quite a phenomenal car, especially given the price. I mean, my, I think my Plaid came in at just $120,000 and the Plaid Plus about 140. That combined with self-driving and all the other goodies you get with Tesla, uh, this car is gonna be pretty, pretty incredible. I'm really excited to get this in my garage. Hopefully, they're saying July, now they're saying maybe June. So within two months, we should have Tesla Model S Plaid here in the garage and of course I have the Plaid Plus order as well. And to uh, finally finish up about the 765 LT and the P1 photo shoot that you saw that I posted in my last video, there was a clip that was left out of the second rolling shoot uh, from the P1. I don't know what happened, that, came, that didn't make it into the video. there was a lot of comments on there about how the p1 was in race mode and that could possibly slow the car down uh randy acknowledged that uh well he only likes to run in race mode because it looks cool and it handles really well but for those high speed straight line runs i think sport mode with the wing down could do a little better let me know in the comments what you think both about tesla model s plaid drag racing on the road course and 765 versus p1 possibly a rematch with the p1 not in race mode i think it could be a little closer but i'm not sure it's going to be enough to take down the 765 let me know what you think in the comments update on my ferrari sf90 still done and sitting in a warehouse somewhere somewhere in italy um i really just don't have an explanation uh what's happening it's just sitting there so hopefully uh, I asked my dealer, they reached out for an update, and we can get updates soon on that. I hope to have that and possibly the Plaid come in at the same time, and there will be a bunch of awesome videos. As always, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps the video and the channel. And I also got some new merch in here. I'll put a link down in the description. You can pick up a new Drag Times USA Edition t-shirt. Uh, here's the back right here. Pretty cool flag design with Toyo Tire Tread. Uh, if you want to pick that up, link down in the description. As always, thanks for watching.